All right, in this uh, PHP program tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to create a user login and registration uh, using some MySQL databases, well, one MySQL database and a table. And I'm also going to go into uh, making email activation and uh, things like that. All right, so right here we just have a blank, uh, our blank index page with our PHP tags. And this is a page right here. Now, uh, to start this, I'm going to go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to make our login form first. And then uh, after we have our login done, we're going to uh, make some, some dummy records, if records if you will, in our uh, database. And then we'll eventually get to the registration. So first, we want to create some HTML code. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a form because we have to have a login form. So we're going to, uh, you don't really need a name. I don't name my forms, but I suppose that's a personal preference. We're going to have an action, and our action is going to be equal to um, our page, which we're just going to go off to a separate file called login. Actually, we'll make it a self-submitting. Now we'll go to login. So we'll go off to a separate file and we'll call that file login.php. And we're going to need a method. And our method is going to be post. Because you don't want, uh, in your URL box, you don't want uh, all the user's data displayed. So we're going to end our form. So we have our form. Now we're just going to create a text box. So, so we want to go with input type equals text. And then our name will be username. And our, our uh, well, actually that's all we're going to need. So we're going to need a same thing. So you just want to copy it and paste it. And I'm going to change this to password. Whoops. And you also want to change the type to password. Save it. And then we're going to need a, another one, except we're going to change the name to button and the type to submit. And we're going to have a value. And our value is just going to be login. So we're going to save this and refresh our page. So we have this stuff here. Now this is just for my MySQL. Uh, I'm just going to make this a little bit neater. Whoops. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a table for this and I'm going to pause it while I do it. Alright, so I've created a table. Uh, it looks just a little bit nicer. Alright, so we have our username, which you put in right there, and your password, which we put in here. And then our login. But it goes to our login.php page, which we have not created. And this page is going to have all of our, our, uh, all of our scripting, all of our scripting in it. So I'm just going to save this page out to login.php, and if we refresh and resend the data, you get nothing because we have no code, no script, no nothing in here. So in here, we're going to uh, need our PHP tags, and really, we don't really need need them in here because we're going off into a different page for submitting. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get our, we want to get our data from the user. So that'll be our username. And since we use the post me post method, you want to do dollar sign underscore post and make sure it's capital post and then uh, brackets and then single quotes in the brackets and username. So 
and we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna get our password all right so save now we have our our username and we have our password uh, now we want to create our uh, <coughs> we're gonna create our our data and such in our uh, database so we're gonna come up in new PHP my admin now if you're running on a paid host you should have access to PHP my admin uh, and should go and since I'm just running this on my local computer uh, my username is just set to the default which is root and my password is just password alright so I'm just gonna use an existing database and come in here uh, or we'll just make a new one either way alright so I'm just gonna get rid of this because that was just for testing something alright so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna create a new table and we're just gonna call this table users and our number of fields so we're gonna need a few fields in our database and I'm gonna make a list of the ones we need so we're gonna need an ID we, you always want to have an ID in your databases you want to have username we're obviously gonna need a password and some additional information that you might want uh, during your registration process maybe an email a date of birth uh, uh, so stuff like that, like first name, or we'll just say full name, and that'll likely have an underscore. So we have six uh, six fields. So we're gonna throw six in there and hit enter. We're creating our table, and right here we're just gonna put in the field names. here email date of birth and what was the other one full name all right so our ID we're just going to scroll over and you want to put the index to primary and you want to put it as auto increment then scroll back over our username is going to be a varchar and we'll say a max of 50 characters our password is going to be a varchar and we'll set the max to 100 but we're going to be using uh, MD5 encryption and encrypting our passwords so it'll shorten it uh, to about 75 or so our email set to a varchar of 150 date of birth we'll just set to a varchar uh, you can set it as a date but I like having it as varchar because I can set it to uh, various formats and whatnot. Uh, we'll just say 20, well, we'll say 50, and full name, Varchar, and we'll go with 200. So we come down here, we're going to hit save, and right here we have our table added. Okay, so we're going to come in the structure, and we have our table right here. So uh, it's getting a little bit long. And uh, so I'm going to stop it here and check out the next part of the video.